Hi, I'm Nick Garlick. I'm the Senior Training Instructor here at the Massey Ferguson Training Centre. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Massey Ferguson 6400 Series Tractor and its Dyna 6 transmission. What we're going to look at with this semi-power shift transmission is its flexibility and top level performance and also show you how to get the best from it with the settings which are easily attained in the cab. So join me as we look at those settings. Here we are in the driver's seat of our MF6499 tractor. What we're going to look at is a view of the controls from the seated position. Here we have the left hand power control lever. Over in the armrest we have the T-bar with the button on it which we use for controlling our gear range change. Over on the right hand console we have this rotary dial. This dial is used to control and set up your auto drive. Above that we have this display currently showing the particular gear range that we're in. The various lights will come on as you change that gear range. The first of our controls to look at is this, the power control lever. This lever has a forward reverse shuttle. This lever we have a plus and minus where we have the upshift and downshift to change our dynashift speeds and our gear ranges. The lever also has a fingertip declutch facility in forwards and reverse. Advantages of this lever to you, the operator, is it falls to your fingertips and is very easy to use. It also means that you do not have to use the clutch pedal and it leaves your left leg relaxed. This also means that your right hand is free to operate other controls upon the machine. The next control to look at is this, our T-bar in the right hand armrest. The T-bar allows us to change the dyna shift from A through to F in the following manner. So to change up the dyna shift, move the lever up in this manner. Moving the lever down moves you back down through the dyna shift speeds. The same operation of the lever using the button changes the mechanical gear range. So press the button, move the lever and the range is then changed accordingly. To change down, press the button, move the lever down and the gear range is changed back down. You should be mindful when using the button to change the 1, 2, 3, 4 that the clutch actually cycles through a neutral from each of these gear changes. So if you're changing down and you're in a hilly condition you should apply the brakes as the tractor is possible for it to freewheel once it's between the gear changes. All in all, this T-bar lever will enable you, the operator, to get the most out of this tractor. A very easy to use control. The next control to look at on this tractor is the rotary dial here on the right hand console. Manual position, this is where you make all the gear changes and dynashift speed changes as you wish. So you're in complete control. Either side of manual, we have speed matching here in transport and here in field. The other sides of this dial we have from 16 to 2200 shown in increments and here we can select when the dyna shift changes and turning the dial this way we can select when the dyna shift makes its changes and indeed the gear range changes. The auto drive dial gives me the flexibility to choose whether I drive in manual or automatic 
to suit any application that I want to work in with this tractor by easily turning this dial. OK, the next feature to look at on this Dynasix tractor is to set a preset gear. The gear that you want to drive away in. In manual mode, there are no preset. The manual mode, it uses the last gear that you drove the tractor in up to 4A. If, however, you move the dial into transport position, speed matching or auto drive, you can then set a preset gear. Simply do this by pressing down on the clutch pedal and keep it held down. Move the left hand lever into the forward position and then operating the T-bar with the button pressed in we can change the gear range and the Dyna shift speed to suit our takeoff gear in transport position that we're in currently. So let's set that gear by upshifting. I'm able to change the gear range and the Dyna shift speeds until I find the one I desire to drive away in. Reset the left hand lever to neutral and release the clutch pedal. We now have set our preset gear which we would like to drive away in, in this case 3B. This we can use to balance between our economy and our power requirements on this Dyna 6 tractor.